Hi, Mr. Heffern here, and here's a quick video on solving displacement in two dimensions using trigonometry and the, the normal formula, traditional formula for displacement. Okay, so the traditional formula requires the use of the final and initial positions, so we'll focus on this formula instead of the other formula which uses the, uh, the lengths of the path traveled. Okay, so here we got Jack. Jack's initially way over here, 10 meters north, 15 degrees to the west from the well, the reference point. After wandering around for a while following this uh, yellow line, Jack ends up over here, which is uh, 15 meters away from the well, uh, facing east and then rotating up towards the north 30 degrees. So we just want to find out the shortcut, this uh, dashed green line here. What is the shortcut instead of following this meandering yellow path? Okay. So this is a uh, method that's going to be requiring using the four steps, the box trick, followed by the law of cosines, followed by the law of sines, and then getting an actual angle. The only problem with this method is uh, sometimes the ambiguous case can give us the wrong answer. And so there is a better method called vector components, which you may or may not learn in this course. So here we have our vector picture, which we have to draw first. All right, and here it is again. And so what we need to do first is the box trick. So we're going to draw a rectangle box around our vector triangle. And at least one of the uh, vertices of the triangle has to touch the vertice of one of the uh, rectangles. Okay, so now we have three right angle triangles inside this uh, diagram, and then we have the non right angle triangle right in the middle. Okay. So, uh, first, since we know this is a 15 degree angle right here, and we know that um, down here this is a 30 degree angle, then to go for this 90 degree corner here, uh, we need a 60 degree angle right here. And then we got our 60 degrees with our 15 degrees, so that means this total angle here has to be 75 degrees. So using the box trick, you can work your way around and figure out what the angles are. Okay, so now that we got this angle, which is directly across from the displacement, we can use the law of cosines to find the magnitude of our displacement. So here we go with the law of cosines. So we got uh, 10 squared plus 15 squared. So subtract 2 times 10 times 15 times cos 75. And after working out the math, we end up getting a magnitude of 15.7275. You don't want to round off yet. It's too early. We're going to be needing this number for the law of sines. And if you round off early on, then you end up getting a huge error sometimes with the law of sines. So don't do it. Okay, so here we are going to find the angle where we started our picture. So uh, Jack started off here in the corner. So that's why this is the angle we're interested in. If we're taking a shortcut, you'd want the direction from where you started your journey. So we're going to find this angle. So this angle right here is directly across from the 15 meters. And the 75 is directly across from our displacement. Okay, so using the law of sines, sine theta, which is across from 15 meters, equals sine 75, which is across from the displacement, which we just found to be 15.7275 meters. Okay, we just uh, do some uh, algebra manipulation, rearrange our equation here, and solve. And we get uh, an angle of around 67.1 degrees. So we know this angle here is around 67.1. Okay, so we um, go back to our picture. That's 67.1. And we know if this is a 15 degree angle, then using the, uh, the Z pattern, that's a 15 right here. So we got 15 plus 67.1. And so uh, we can figure out what that angle is. That's going to be... 82.1 degrees, or uh, if that's 82.1, then we know that this little smidgen of an angle here has to be 7.9. So that's a nice small angle. So facing east, coming down 7.9, and then walking 15.7 meters will get us to our final position. And there you go. Just using the same four steps that we usually use for non-right angle triangles, you uh, draw a vector diagram box it up inside a recta rectangle, uh, and then you solve for the angle across from the displacement, and then uh, use law of cosines to get the magnitude of the displacement, law of sines to get the unknown angle that we're interested in, 
And then finally, get an actual direction from north or east by using your picture and a compass. And that's it. Good luck with these questions.